Hello, welcome to the demo of our newest template, the recipe costing with pricing calculator template in Google Sheets. So this one is very simple and straightforward lang to help you simplify your process. So initially, naka-view only mode lang yung file. Um, and you need to make a copy in your Google Sheets account to enable editing. So to do that, click nyo lang tong file sa upper corner. Click make a copy. And then make sure na selected yung My Drive from the folder options before you click make a copy para diretso sa Google Drive account ninyo yung template. So, once na nakagawa na kayo ng copy sa Google Drive account ninyo, pwede nyo nang iset up yung template and mag-input na kayo ng recipe and costing. Dito, naglagay ako ng two examples for your reference. Ayan. And isa-isahin na lang natin. So, sa first part, itong table, ang una-unang gagawin ninyo is input yung product name dito. So, for example, this one is pork tonkatsu. And then, sa baba, input ninyo kung ilang servings ang magagawa per recipe and ilang servings for each product. For example, this recipe could create um, two servings. Total servings from this recipe is two servings. And then, per product na ibebenta ko, isang serving lang. So, total products that I could create with this recipe is dalawa lang. The next na yung gagawin naman is to input yung profit margin. So, halimbawa, gusto kong profit margin is 70%. Uh, yan, input ko lang dyan. Then, dito sa table na uh, sa baba, meron tayong apat na tables. We have ingredients, costing, material costing, labor cost, and the other expenses. So, dito, parehas lang ng layout yung ingredients, costing, and yung material cost. So, meron tayong two columns na automated dito. We have CPR and CPP. So, CPR stands for the cost per recipe, and CPP stands for the cost per product. So, ang gagawin nyo lang dito, mag input lang kayo ng values dun sa mga white field columns and rows. Lahat ng colored field columns dito, automated na yan for you. So, mag-auto-compute na yan. So, in this example, sa ingredients, ang kailangan is um, boneless pork chop, salt and pepper, cooking oil, eggs, whole milk, and the panko breadcrumbs. So, example lang to. Ayan. So, for example, bumili ako ng 5 uh, pieces na boneless pork chop or nakabili ako ng worth 155 pesos na boneless pork chop with 5 pieces na yun. So, ang cost per unit niya is 31 pesos. Now, ang kailangan ko for this recipe kanina is dalawa lang. So, total servings dalawa. And then, ang cost per recipe ko would be 62 pesos. And cost per product ko would be 31 pesos. So, another example, bumili ako halimbawa ng 310 pesos na 30 pieces eggs na yon. So, ang cost per unit ko is 10.33 pesos. Pero, ang kailangan ko lang in this recipe is isa lang. So, ang cost per recipe ko would be 10.33 pesos. And then, ang cost per product ko would be 5.17 pesos. For material cost, halimbawa, kailangan ko sa packaging, bento box, worth 350 pesos, 450 pieces na yun. So, ang cost per unit is 7 pesos. Pero, ang kailangan ko lang dito ay dalawa lang. Ayan. So, 14 ang cost niya per recipe and then cost per product is 7 pesos lang. Now, dun sa labor cost naman, uh, mag-input lang kayo dito ng list of employees ninyo and uh, ano yung rate per hour. Now, in this um, recipe kasi 20 minutes lang naman siya. So, kung hours, hours lang lang ilagay nyo dito. Kung minutes, input, select nyo lang yung minutes dun sa drop down options. Then, for example, in this one, sa cost per recipe, 20 pesos. Cost per product is 10 pesos. Now, if there are other expenses na related dito sa pag-produce ng recipe na to, input lang din dito. And then, mag-auto-compute na yung uh, CPR and CPP um, na columns. Then, sa taas, andito na yung breakdown ng cost per recipe for ingredients, materials, labor, and other expenses. And then, same lang din dun sa cost per product. May breakdown tayo for each category. So, in this example, ang total is 99.82 pesos. Now, since gusto ko ng profit margin na 70%, 
ito dapat yung uh, selling price ko. Kung i-adjust ko to na 50% lang, mag adjust lang din yung selling price ko. Then, I've also added a chart for the pricing guide. Makikita nyo ito yung cost versus the selling price. And then, dito naman sa isang chart is yung cost, uh, breakdown ng costing per product. So, ayan. Now, if uh, I wanted to earn 50,000 pesos for this recipe, kailangan ko na sales is 250. So, kailangan ko makabenta ng 250 na products. Halimbawa, kung i-adjust ko naman yung profit margin ko dito, mag-adjust din yung kailangan ko na sales. So, 150 na lang. Ganun lang din. So, meron ako another example dito for mango graham naman. So, same process lang din naman. Ayan. Tapos, if I wanted to add another recipe, click nyo lang to. And then, click duplicate. Then, rename nyo lang tong um, tab. Bawa, strawberry shortcake. And then, dito, input nyo lang kung anong name ng product. Kulit. And then, dito sa photo, click itong insert sa taas. And then, click image. Then, select insert image over cells. And then, um, click nyo lang yung product or select lang yung product na gusto ninyong maging photo dito. Yan. So, nakaprep naman na dati yung sa akin. And then, adjust ko na lang dito. So, ganyan lang. So, then, repeat lang yung process na ginawa dun sa two examples natin kanina. So, that's it. If you have any questions or concerns, just let me know. Thank you.